G'day folks, Ziggity here with the Path of Exile guide. Finding DPS upgrades for your build in Path of Exile can sometimes be a very complicated and time-consuming affair. You need to figure out all of the potential mods that can improve your DPS, get an idea for the weighting of how good each one is, how much impact each one has, and then try and figure out the combination of them that you can afford within your budget and come up with an item. And items are just very complex, and that's even before you start to look at things like corruptions and various influences and stuff like that you can use to improve your gear further. It's a lot. Most of the time, we generally go for something good enough, something maybe we know a little trick here and there we can add in to make an item a little bit more interesting, and then we start manually typing things out and trying to find what it is that we're looking for and then create an item and start looking to see what's available on the market. Uh, that is changing currently. It is a the dawn of a new era, it seems. Path of Building has had a huge impact on Path of Exile, undeniably. This thing has allowed us to plan builds and assess them and fine-tune them and improve them in more and more powerful ways ever since its inception. And uh, we've undeniably gotten stronger over time as a result of it. Because now you can search for node power and you can do various things and you can see the impact that each new node or cluster or cluster jewel or item or various other thing will have on your build. It's changing again. <laughs> it's changing again. We have a new feature that allows us to have computer algorithms <laughs> have science do this for us. Well, this looks pretty complicated. This is a weighted sum where each individual affix is given a weighting for how it improves our build specifically in its current state and how it improves its DPS. It gives a weighting in each individual affix. A dexterity is given 51 weighting. Fire damage given 210 for my build. Cold damage to attacks given 689 and so on and so forth. Power charges, minimum power charges, that's given a pretty high weighting. There's a whole lot of stuff in here, including implicits like anger aura effect and things like that. So that you can find the mathematically perfect item to upgrade your build's DPS. <laughs> it is something else. So let's say you want to find yourself a ring to upgrade your character. You go into Path of Building, you import your character. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, there's plenty of guides for importing characters and using configuration setup and stuff like that. But effectively what you have to do is import your current character as it currently stands. Then go through configuration and check all the boxes that apply to you for fighting bosses. Anything that uh, helps you fight a boss, set this stuff up all correctly. If you've done this before, you'll know what you're doing. Otherwise, you might have to consult a guide. That's a whole other topic. Once you've done that... You can then go into items and there's this new button here, trade for these items. This allows you to take any slot and have this automatically calculate every single affix and possible thing that you could get to try and optimize the DPS for an item for that slot. Uh, it is kind of crazy. So if we wanted to upgrade our ring two, for example, we would click find best. This is a little bit scuffed right now. This is a kind of a beta of this feature. So hopefully it gets fixed in the future. Uh, and then uh, we can take this URL. Sometimes you won't have to click this button over here to swap between URL and, and automatic pricing mode. And then we'll copy that URL, take it to our browser and import it over here. Make sure that the right league is selected. Currently it's defaulting me to hardcore for some reason. So make sure we select the right league. And then there's a few other things you probably want to do. Put in your budget. So down the bottom, you've got trade filters, chaos orb equivalent. Let's say our budget is 25 chaos. I'm willing to spend up to 25 chaos to try and get a DPS upgrade ring. And then anything else that's crucial, you can also add. Now this, 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 this bot effectively pushes this to the limit. If you want to add anything else, like let's say we want a ring that has life. I'm not going to look at a ring if it doesn't have life. We will add a stat group of and, and we'll put life in pseudo total life, and uh, we'll say 55 life or something, you know? Now, what you'll notice is that sometimes it'll say an error occurred, query is too complex. That's because the path of building is pushing it to the limit. It's literally putting the most possible information it could fit into here. So if that happens, what you need to do is cull a couple affixes, and this is not perfect, right? So you can cull some stuff that is a little bit less impactful or a little bit less meaningful. 
Um, so, uh, for example, I don't really care about slightly inflating my DPS by adding a little bit of physical damage. And if I did that, it would make Fizz Reflect maps a bit more dangerous, so I could take out physical damage, for example. Maybe there's some other mods here that I don't really care too much about. Or what you could do is look at the really lowest weighted things. So we could say, uh, what is it? Implicit Critical Strike Chance has a pretty low weighting. I don't really care too much about that. I would rather get resistance rings instead, so I could cut that out. So you might have to cut one or two mods out. For each thing you add, the search will become more complicated and you'll hit that limit. <laughs> you'll break the site. So you just have to back it off a little bit. And then now we can search for rings with life. So it'll have life, everything will have life. A minimum of 55 total pseudo life. And then these other affixes. There's an insane ring there for one chaos. <laughs> Kind of want it. <laughs> Why do it's so good? There's an insane ring there, but that's not all. Because what you want to do then? So we've set our we've set our budget right, 25. So we won't show anything above 25C. You could scroll and look, but what you can do is you see this sum here. This is the sum total value of the DPS influencing stats on this. So it's mathing this, 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 and the power charges, and put giving that a calculation. We can click sort by, so that it's in descending order so that the ring at the top of the list is the highest value DPS increase. So this thing has landing damage, elemental damage, and 26 to 44 fire damage. So that's the highest possible DPS ring we can get within our budget. And it's only 10 chaos, well under budget. Maybe we'd want to be like, okay, I'll scroll and have a look at some other things, because maybe this 15C ring or another ring further down is more attuned to our taste. Nutty. Insane. <laughs> How easy it makes doing this because it's not hard to look for a ring with just like one or two affixes it might take you 10 minutes to set up a search that's pretty good and hits a good chunk of stuff but there is no way that i am ever spending the time required to find all of these different like implicits and give them different relative weightings and corruptions and all that sort of other stuff never happening so that is uh quite insane and the fact that you can then easily tune it to add any things that are super important for you i used this to get an amulet earlier i was like i need 70 intelligence but i want to get a high dps amulet still trying to set that up myself would have been really complicated but i just put in 70 intelligence and or 80 intelligence set my budget and easily found an amulet upgrade i was my mind has been getting blown jewels especially are really insane for this because doing jewels is such a pain in the butt because on jewels, there are so many different affixes that serve the same role. You're playing a physical build, you've got global physical damage, you've got percentage raw damage, you've got maybe like attack damage if you're an attack build, and then you've got everything else you have to consider like attack speed and crit and all that sort of other stuff. And then you've got abyss jewels. Is, abyss, is an abyss jewel better for my DPS or is a regular jewel better? I don't know. So you, you go through these steps here, and this makes this a lot easier. And there's another thing that's worth mentioning as well. You see this and you're like, okay, that looks pretty good. Then this number is high, but how much influence does this have on my character? Well, what you can do is you can click this copy button, go back over to path of building. And let me take that ring two off because I've already replaced it. We control V it over here, click add to build at spirit notch and make note of what that is and put it in there. So let's say compared to no ring, Spirit Knot is giving me 11.7% DPS. Maybe your other ring was something like, I think this was my old ring. How good is that? So this is an 11 point, I mean, literally an 11.7% DPS increase over my previous ring. Is that worth 10 cows? Easily, <laughs> easily. So you can easily do the calculations there to see just how good it is, in fact. This is particularly good for jewels just because of how complicated they are. I'll just give you a quick look. So we do our fine best for jewels, allow, uh, Eldritch modes, corrupted, all that sort of stuff. It's particularly good for that because I often spend like 20 minutes setting up jewel searches for a character and then I save them and use that from then on for that character. And I can do that pretty well to within like 90% of all the possibilities, but I never consider corrupted mods or any of that sort of stuff. So uh, this includes those. And in fact, I bought a jewel earlier that had a corrupted mod on it and I saw some that had like penetration and things and it factored that into the math which is very cool. If it appears like this, you can use this, but it's much easier to just go to the browser. So you can copy paste this over. And now we have our jewel search with 67 results. Again, if you want life in this case, because it's jewels and you're looking at two different types of jewels, we do a count of one, and then we do flat life of 30 plus maybe. That's what we decide is what we want. 
And then you also want a percentage life. Don't use pseudo for jewels, by the way. That's just a general rule. And then we got percentage life. So this will give us either abyss jewels or regular jewels. And then we can actually find out what jewels are just better for us. Now, again, this will be probably a bit too complicated. So we could find like the lowest rated things, which is probably like all attributes, for example. And maybe like increased fire damage is pretty low value. Uh, what else? Increased lightning damage is pretty low value as well. What else? There's probably a few things. Oh, there's like... There's some stuff that it weights a little bit silly. So there, this is not perfect, right? There'll be some setups, some skills, some builds, and some calculations that it can't do very well. Uh, the better you do on your configuration page, making sure that your correct auras and situation and everything is all set up correctly. If you've checked all the right boxes, it'll be much more accurate, but it's never going to be fully perfect. For example, this one here, increase critical strike if you haven't dealt a crit recently. I'm a crit build, I'm always critting. So that is given a 500 weighting. It definitely doesn't deserve that. And that's just kind of it hitting a limitation. Um, so there might be a way of fixing that in configuration, maybe like tagging it. I have crit recently or something, but I can get rid of that, for example. Still too complicated, so I might have to take out like Chaos Damage is really low value. I can take out those Chaos Damage mods and that might get us within the ability for the thing. Uh, once again, I'm in Hardcore Ruthless. <laughs> There's no jewels on Hardcore Ruthless, in case you're wondering. And then what we do, once again, is put our budget in. So how much do I want to spend? 25C. That's how much currency I've got, sure. Gives us thousands of results. But what we do is we sort by sum. This is the highest DPS jewel. This person's AFK. Next highest, this one, 15C. For this thing here. Very cool. So it's a. this is not even the relevant here. It's just crit multi plus lightning damage is a high DPS jewel for me. Um, obviously if you start to include your own stats, the DPS is going to go down each time you do that because it's competing with other things. So if I did, if I did this without the life, I'm probably going to find a higher, it was about 2.5 sum. We got 3.8 for the total value of this because we hit a three stat jewel instead or potentially a four stat jewel. But if we want to draw damage, we could go that route. So this is probably going to work best for rings, amulets, and jewels, I think. But uh, it should also work quite well for gloves. It's very DPS oriented, um, obviously. You want to still consider things like life and resist. You've got to do that yourself. Uh, maybe in the future, Path of Building will start creating our entire character and playing it for us. But it's not quite there yet. We still have to do a little bit of work ourselves. <laughs> I'm honestly not even sure how I feel about like This is just a whole other level of Path of Building. It is quite ridiculous. Um, I think there's some potential for weapons there as well, for like finding different affixes that you might not have considered. Because uh, there's a lot of weird affixes out there for weapons, like maybe you didn't even consider hits can't be evaded and how that affects your build, or some other random influenced affix or something like that. So uh, there's some potential there. I haven't experimented with that just yet, but give it a go for sure. Give it a try. Um, nuts. I am <laughs> My mind is being blown by this and its possibilities and just how powerful it is. Seriously, I would spend 30 minutes making jewel searches with just all of the possible affixes, and then this does it in three seconds. Wild. I am being made redundant, as are we all, <laughs> in Path of Exile. <laughs> anyway, folks, I hope you found this interesting. Hope you find some DPS upgrades. Y spoiler, you will. You will find some DPS upgrades. I got like 40% DPS <laughs> increase today from uh, doing upgrades for a couple rings, amulets, and gloves, and stuff like that. Nuts. Anyway, I'm Ziggy. Thanks for watching. Bye.